He is a man waiting in the wings, armed and ready to take his party out of 13 years of opposition. The man the polls think will be our next Prime Minister, with a pitch today for change. We're going to roll up our sleeves, fix the problems and improve our country. We can't keep expecting the British people to just suck it up. And there was a policy pledge for devolution. We will spread control out of Westminster, devolve new powers over employment support, transport, energy, climate change, housing, culture, childcare provision and how councils run their finances. When it comes to the big issues that are impacting people right now, NHS pay, the strikes, it's not clear what you're saying beyond saying that you would do a better job than the Tories. You say you're not willing to get your big checkbook out, but how are you going to fix those problems? Every year we go into an NHS crisis, it just gets worse and worse and worse, and so we're in the worst one ever now, um, and that's sticking plaster politics. And that's why we've said that we will have a fully funded plan to bring in thousands and thousands more nurses, more doctors, because in the end, that's the only way we're going to get out of this. Another day and another party leader sets out their stall. The challenge for Keir Starmer will be showing that he's not just capitalising on Tory turmoil, that he has a direction for this party and can tell the public what he really stands for. Hands up if you know who Keir Starmer is. Keir Starmer? No. I can't say who's that either. politician? I wouldn't vote for the Conservatives because I want a lot to change down here and I feel like this area isn't really good, so the Conservatives will make it worse. There's no point in voting for them because we've been asking for the same thing for so long and they're not doing anything about it. Yeah, I feel like even though we are young, the time that we grew up in with like Labour, a lot was different to now. A lot has changed for the worse. But is simply being an alternative to the Conservatives enough? Recent polls put the Labour lead at around 20%. Now, that is a large lead by historical standards, but we also know they would need to achieve an average swing in constituencies along the same lines that Tony Blair achieved in 1997, which was the highest swing that anyone has ever achieved in British political history. Yesterday, the pitch from the PM was all about competence. It's harder to pledge change when your party's been in power for a decade. What the Prime Minister put forward were five very clear, measurable goals that we will pursue in government and we can be held to account for. What we saw from Keir Starmer, as I say, was a whole load of nothing. We could be two years from a general election, but the campaign starting gun may just have been fired by the Prime Minister and the man hoping to replace him. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.